Oh my god, look at that beautiful double chin, y'all. Boy, just shaved this morning. That double chin looking kind of clean. Look at it. Embrace the double chin. Embrace it. But anyways, I just want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. I know with everything going on this year, the holiday season definitely hit different. Definitely hit different for me. But I hope you guys had a good holiday regardless. Anyways, this is going to be my week 16 preview video and predictions video as well. Uh, I know it's super late. I know like as soon as this video gets uploaded, the Saints and Vikings game might be happening already. And my apologies for that. It's just been a busy week for you, boy. But first game we got is today, this afternoon, we have the Minnesota Vikings taking on the New Orleans Saints. And the Vikings are in a very desperate situation. They have to win out. And they need the Bears to lose out and the Cardinals to lose out as well in order for them to get into the playoffs. And the Saints obviously can't stand the Vikings. Two of their last three playoff runs have ended at the hands of the Vikings. So this is kind of a revenge game for them. And I think the Saints will win this one. I just don't see Minnesota competing with New Orleans. I don't see them slowing down Drew Brees, who has to be in his bag after last week's game against the Chiefs in which he didn't play very well. But I'm going to have the Saints winning, and I'll say 27-17. to 17. So the Vikings will get eliminated from the playoff race today. Saturday, we have three games this week. First and foremost, we have the Buccaneers taking on the Detroit Lions, and I believe Tampa will clinch a playoff berth if they win this week, if they haven't already. I think they might have already clinched a playoff berth. Checking right now as I'm recording this video, to be completely honest with you. No, Tampa has not clinched a playoff berth yet, but they will with a victory over the lowly Detroit Lions. And I think Tampa got this one. Again, Detroit's defense just isn't very good, and I don't think they're going to be able to stop all the weapons that the Buccaneers offense have through the air. Antonio Brown's starting to show up a little bit. Obviously, they have Mike Evans and Chris Godwin as well. I think Brady has probably his best game of the season against the Lions. I'll say Tampa wins this one 35-21. 35-21, that's going to be the score. For the 4.30 game tomorrow, we got the 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. And the Cardinals... I believe, nah, they they need the Bears to lose, but if they win the Bears lose, they'll clinch a playoff berth. Meanwhile, the Niners are already eliminated, so I'll, honestly, all they can do is just play spoiler to the Cardinals. I think Arizona got this. Again, I think the Niners are just way too beat up, and I think Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins have another big game this week. I'm going to say the score is Cardinals 38, 49ers 20. And for the final game on Saturday, we have the Miami Dolphins taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. And the Raiders, they're playing for their playoff lives. They need a win, and they need Miami to lose next week, and they need Baltimore to lose out. And I don't know if either of those things are going to happen, so we'll see what happens. Las Vegas just has to control what they can control by winning the next two games. they, they got to beat Miami this week, obviously, and then Denver next week. Uh, Derek Carr practice this week and he hasn't been given a designation so we'll see what happens but John Gruden is also not named a starter so maybe Marcus Mariota starts this week we'll have to see either way I'm taking Miami to win this game I just don't trust the Raiders defense to help them out I know Mariota threw the pick last week but I think offensively the Raiders did everything that they could to win the game outside of that pick but it just didn't pan out for him and I don't see it panning out against the Dolphins. As long as Tua Tungavaloa doesn't make any mistakes, I think Miami got this one. And I think they'll win this one 34-27, to and the Raiders will be eliminated after another slump in the second half of the season. They've done this so many times over the past few years. I don't know if this is going to cost John Gruden his job or not, but, man, that might be a conversation they have to have. Now we go to Sunday's games. The first one we have is the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Chiefs have a chance to clinch the number one seed in the AFC by winning this game. And they're 10 and a half point favorites to win this one. I'm going to pick the Chiefs to win this one. I just don't think the Falcons secondary is going to be able to hang with the Chiefs receiving core. And I know the Chiefs are missing Clyde, so their running game is not going to be as good as it is. But Mahomes is just going to be too much for the Falcons. So I'm going to pick the Chiefs to win this one. 38 to 10. Next up, we got the Cleveland Browns taking on the New York Jets. 
Browns have a chance to clinch their first playoff berth since 2001, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it was 2001. And they're taking on the Jets team that just won their first game of the season in a year that we all thought they were going to go winless. I mean, I, that caught me by surprise completely. But I think the Jets go back to reality. I think the Browns take care of business. Uh, the Browns don't have as many questions slash liabilities as the Rams do. And I think the Browns take care of business in this one. 31 to 17 is the score I'll give them. I think the Jets will put up a fight. I think Sam Darnold is certainly fighting for his opportunity to be the Jets starter next year. But the Browns will win this one. Next up, we got a pretty big game in the AFC. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Indianapolis Colts at Heinz Field. And the Steelers, riding a three-game slump right now, are playing against a team that they really don't want to play in this situation. The Colts have been playing very well over the past few weeks, and their defense is starting to get healthy again. I really want the Steelers to win, obviously, as a Titans fan, but I'm going to pick the Colts to win, and I think it will be somewhere along the lines of 24-17. to I don't think Pittsburgh gets over 20 points in this game either. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know how confident I am in this pick because one would hope that the Steelers have been humbled after losing to the Bengals on Monday night. But we'll have to see what happens. I know they said Juju's not going to do the dancing thing on the logo anymore. That's good because the dude hasn't had a 100-yard game since last year against Miami. That's been his only 100-yard game in the past two years. So if he wants people to take him seriously as a number one receiver, he should start, you know, performing on the field at very least. But I'm going to go with the Colts to win this game. I just think their defense is going to be way too much for a very anemic Steelers offense. Next up, we got the Chicago Bears taking on the 1-13 Jacksonville Jaguars. The Bears still fighting for a playoff spot. If they win the next two and Arizona loses at least one of the next two, the Bears will get into the playoffs. So very feasible the Bears could be a 7th or 6th seed even. I'm going to go with the Bears in this one. The Jaguars' defense just really has not done anything to convince me that they can stop anybody. I mean, especially giving up 44 last week to Baltimore. No shade to Baltimore or anything like that. But I think the Bears will be able to take care of business in this one. And I will say the score will be 30-17. to Next up, speaking of the Ravens, we got them hosting the New York Giants, who are fighting for a playoff spot. If the Giants can win the next two and Washington even loses one, I believe the Giants would clinch the division since they swept Washington this year. But they're not going to beat Baltimore. I think the Ravens got this one easy. The Giants just haven't been good. Their defense has been pretty decent, but offensively they really have nothing. So I'm going to give the Ravens this one by a score of 27-10. to 10. And I believe a loss would damage the Giants' playoff hopes, but as long as Washington doesn't win, they'll still be alive. Next up, we got a pretty irrelevant game in the final game of the 1 p.m. games, at least. We got the Bengals taking on the Texans. Both teams are pretty much playing with house money because, again, the Bengals have so many needs outside of the quarterback position. Winning games might hurt their draft stock a little bit, but there are, so ma there are only so many players that will be taken that they probably couldn't utilize. That it doesn't really matter if they win. I mean, granted, I'm not a big supporter of tanking. I mean, just the idea of tanking. Like, I get it, but I'm not a fan of it personally. I'm going to take the Bengals to win this game. They showed me a lot of heart against Pittsburgh, and I think they'll be able to slow down this Texans offense, even with Deshaun Watson playing very well on a really bad team. I think the Bengals will take care of business. It's going to be a low-scoring game, though. I think it'll be 20-17 to in favor of the Bengals. So now we go to the 4 o'clock games. First one we got is the Denver Broncos taking on the Los Angeles Chargers in another pretty meaningless game. I'm going to go with the Chargers to win this one, 24-17. I think Anthony Lynn is fighting for his job at this point. There's no guarantee he's going to be fired, but he's going to, he's going to put up a fight. He's going to have this team be competitive over the next two weeks, and I think Justin Herbert will just be too much for this Broncos defense. Next up, we got the Carolina Panthers heading to the DMV to take on Washington. And Washington with a win this week and a Cowboys and Giants loss will clinch the division. So a huge week for the Washington football team. 
Alex Smith is questionable, I believe. I uh, don't know if Dwayne Haskins is going to play, but if Alex Smith plays, I have full confidence Washington wins this game. But in general, their defense is just going to be too much for the Panthers, and Teddy Bridgewater hasn't been very good this season, to be completely honest. And Christian McCaffrey is not going to play, so Carolina really has nothing offensively. I'm going to go with Washington winning this one by a score of 17-10. to 10. Next up, in what could turn out to be an NFC East eliminator, we have the Dallas Cowboys hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. Cowboys sitting at 5-9, the Eagles sitting at 4-9-1. Both teams still very much alive in the division race, but the loser of this game is going to be out. And Philly plays Washington next week, so if Philly wins and then Carolina finds a way to beat Washington, it could turn out to be the NFC East championship game next week. With that being said, I like Philly in this game. Dallas has shown heart over the past few weeks, but I think Philly is just the better team, and I think they will win this game. It's going to be close, and it's going to be relatively average scoring. I think it will be 24-21, Philly, but I think Jalen Hurts will be too much in the end for the Cowboys, and the Eagles will prevail, and if Carolina finds a way to beat Washington, it could be a very interesting game next week. We'll have to see. In the final 4 o'clock game, we have a huge game in the NFC West between the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. Seahawks hosting this one. First and foremost, very embarrassing loss for the Rams, obviously, last week to lose to a Jets team like that. And any faith I had in them being a problem in the playoffs just went away with that game. I mean, I know everybody has a bad week every once in a while, but I saw a lot of flaws in this Rams team last week. And if Seattle wins this game, they win the division. So I think they'll come out swinging. I think I'm going to go with the Seahawks. The Rams might end up, you know, just being in their bag and winning this game. But I'm going to go with the Seahawks and win this one. And I am going to say the final score will be 20 to 13. And the Seahawks will once again clinch the division. And then we have the Sunday night game. We have the Titans heading over the Lambeau Field to take on the Packers. I'm not going to talk about this game until tomorrow's video. Make sure you guys go check it out. I'm going to be doing a live reactions stream on Sunday night, so come through. It's going to be twitch.tv slash kazcray. Come on through, and let's watch the game together. I'm not going to show the game, obviously, so don't ask me to, but come on through. And then last but not least, we have the Monday night game between the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots, or should I say the AFC East champion Buffalo Bills hosting the now eliminated New England Patriots. And I think Buffalo got this on lock. I just don't think the Patriots have anything left as far as just will. They can't really score. They can't really do much of anything. They can't run the ball. They can't pass the ball. And when you're playing against a team like Buffalo, you got to get some points on the board or you're going to be in trouble. I got the Bills winning this one big, actually. I'm going to go 35-14. to 14. So let me know in the comment section what your predictions are for week 16 of the NFL. Also, let me know what you got for Christmas this year. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, let me know what you got for like Hanukkah or any other holiday that you celebrate. If you got any gifts whatsoever, even if you have a birthday in December, like let me know what you got for your birthday in December in the comment section below. And make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the sub button for more NFL and Tennessee Titans content. Turn your notifications on to join the notification gang. That way, every time I upload a video, you guys will be notified. And we're going to keep the good vibes rolling here, guys. Once again, happy holidays to each and every one of you. This has been Kaz Cray. And if you want to see more from the channel, check out the videos in front of you.